can't tell anywhere because they think, oh, that's vulgar. But it ain't. And I know, I figure y'all being raised in the country, you, every one of you has seen this right here. But there's two old cats, pregnant cats laying there uh, in the sunshine, and both of them, you know, swelled up, getting pretty close to having the youngins. And one of them rolled over the other. And there was three cats, and one of them, that's right. <laughs> There was three pregnant cats. It's been a long time since I told this. Y'all, uh, y'all seen this. The first old cat rolled over the second and said, what's your kittens gonna look like? She said, oh, mine are gonna have long hair. Their daddy was in Himalayan. And she said, what's your kittens gonna look like? She said, oh, they're gonna have short hair and a black face. Their, their daddy was Siamese. The third old cat laying over there hadn't said nothing. They said, what's your kittens gonna look like? She said, I don't have any idea. I had my head hung in a salmon can at the time. <laughs> give up on it because I couldn't play it in tune. I'm, uh, I'm near here, or far here, whichever one it is. I, I can't, I can hear good out here, but I can't hear good up here, you know. And so anyway, I had to give it up. And uh, the mandolin's tuned like a fiddle, so uh, I can play the tunes on the mandolin, and I play with these guys. And uh, we've got a couple of mountain tunes we want to do. Uh, one of them's really, the first one was written by Bill Monroe, it's called uh, Farewell to Long Hollow Pike. And the second one in here is called Johnny Court the Widow. <laughs> and we've cleaned that up just a little bit. <laughs> but I think you'll like it. It's kind of different. There's the second one's a mountain tune, and the first one that comes from a mountaineer himself, Bill Monroe. So let her go.
they drink water for from drying cave dust. <laughs> this is 